So currently I'm going through a situation called having no friends. That's why I thought it's the perfect time to create a tic-tac-toe AR tool. Because I thought this 2D game could potentially replace my 3D friend. But don't worry, I won't make that typical boring 3x3 tic-tac-toe. Instead, I will make a 4x4 tic-tac-toe. AI, because a very famous person once said, the more the grids, the better it is. So let's start. Step 1. The first step is to make the grid of a 4x4 tic-tac-toe. And I decided that I will make the game terminal based because I spend most of my time staring at the terminal. And uh, also because uh, I'm quite bad at GUI. Now making a 4x4 grid isn't that complicated. Just use pu just use few print statements one after another and it's done. But there is a little problem. When I want to place an X or O on the grid, I need to know the number of the grid. So I labeled each grid with its position number and it distorted the shape of the grid. So step two, to fix this, I first created two arrays, one for the X, another for O, with 16 values all set to zero. Whenever I or the AI places a move on a specific index, that specific index will be replaced by 1. This means that index is reserved for the player who plays the move for that game. If no one chooses that index, that position will simply display its position number. Let me show you an example. I created a position variable using one liner condition. It checks if the specific index in either x player or o player has a 1. For example, if x player has a 1, it places an x. If o player has a 1, it plays an O. If none of them has one, it just simply plays the position number. This way, the board updates based on which player has claimed each spot. And by the way, I had to make 16 position variables for 16 positions. And yes, I had to manually adjust each one of them uh, so the board doesn't distort. Because let's be honest, uh, I am a decoder and I didn't find a more effective way to do this. But anyways, the grid is finally done. So let's take a break. Step 3. Uh, now I'm thinking that I should add a toss system uh, that decides whether the AI or the human gets to make the first move. This will make the game uh, more unpredictable and interesting. So let's code it. You will be prompted to choose heads or tails. Then the computer randomly picks heads or tails as well. If your choice matches the computer's choice, you get to make the first move. If not, the AI goes first. Simple as that. Now the final step. How will the AI place a move? For that, I created an array of arrays that contains all the possible winning positions. Now what's left to do is setting up priorities. So the first priority for the AI is to check if it has any winning position by looking for three O's in a row. If it finds one, it places its move to win. Second priority, if no winning move is available, it checks if the human player has a winning spot. If it does, the AI plays its move to block it. Third priority. If neither winning nor a blocking move is found, the AI looks for a position that could set up future winning move or maintain control over the game without immediately winning or blocking. Now, all of this will work only if the human player starts first. But what if the human player lost the toss? I mean, if the AI has to make the first move, how will the AI choose which grid to fill? Now to solve this, I finally had to use my very powerful dual core 2.5 petabyte brain and after hours and hours of deep thinking, I finally came up with a revolutionary idea. Pick a number from 0 to 15 randomly. Yep. Anyways, let's take a test. So I played 15 matches with this and out of those 15 matches, 14 were draw and only one game was won by the AI. And let me be clear, uh, it's not like that I made a very smart AI. Uh, it's just that uh, I'm bad at tic-tac-toe. Maybe that's why I don't have any friends. That's why it's the perfect time to plug in my Discord. Description is in the link.